Hey guys, it's Jeff and iOS 13.1 developer beta 4 came out today and we're really excited to take a look at this new developer beta version, but I'm actually not expecting much. The total update size for my iPhone 10X Max came in at around 131 megabytes. So uh, with that small of an update size, I'm not really expecting anything new. Now with iOS 13.1, we haven't really been seeing a lot going on in the past couple betas. So don't give your hopes up, but we'll go ahead, get it installed onto our test device here, see what's new, if any changes have been made, and then we'll talk about speed and performance as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started on our video today, let's go ahead and talk about our awesome sponsor for today's video, Hawthorne. Hawthorne provides you with the best smelling and most personalized hygiene setup hands down. Basically, all you have to do is take a quick quiz and Hawthorne takes your results, creates a custom smell for you, and then provides you with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant, and even cologne to add that special touch to getting ready in the mornings. Best thing is the scents are set up for you so you know that you'll be smelling like one of a kind. So guys, go check out Hawthorne using the link in the video description down below. And also, if you use the code down below here, uh, you'll get 20% off your first order. Okay, so once you go ahead and update, you will get kind of like an update completed uh, screen there when you update to the fourth developer beta. But other than that, there's no other prompts, splash screens or anything like that. Everything is pretty normal. Now, if you go to the about screen and then you take a look at our new build number for iOS 13.1 developer beta four, the build number has changed to 17A584. A. Now, as far as anything else goes, like any other changes in the about screen, we didn't get any modem firmware updates or anything like that. So um, as I said previously, this is a very small update and really nothing has changed. When looking for new features, maybe some UI changes or anything like that, um, I really couldn't find anything out there. The only UI change was found in the App Store, which is actually changed that we saw in the previous beta uh, for Apple Arcade because that was unlocked for us as a beta tester. So if you go into Apple Arcade, you should go ahead and uh, be able to access Apple Arcade and access all of the kind of latest and greatest games that are being added. They're continuously, uh, you know, adding games day to day here. So um, there's a lot going on with Apple Arcade, but past that really nothing else going on. Now, a lot of you may have the question of some of your apps being updated and receiving dark mode support that has nothing to do with iOS 13.1. That really has everything to do with developers finally getting around to updating their apps to work with iOS 13 as a whole. So um, iOS 13.1 isn't changing apps to kind of enable dark mode. That is developers updating their apps. So guys, unfortunately, there really wasn't any new features or changes in iOS 13.1 developer beta 4. I'm super sorry for that. I know that's disappointing. Um, as far as speed and performance goes, everything was pretty much around the same numbers with Geekbench and Tutu benchmarks and everything like that. So really no change in speed and performance. As far as visual effects go, I really didn't notice any like speed improvements. I noticed things were a lot smoother, like the animations were a little bit smoother here and there, but that was just me personally. I really can't verify that with any uh, benchmarks or anything like that. That was just like, to my eye, things just looked a little bit smoother. Now, as far as battery performance, battery life goes, um, in our benchmark test with Geekbench, we didn't really see any results that kind of fluctuate up or down, everything pretty much remained the same. Um, and as far as real life testing, we haven't really had it long enough to kind of go ahead and see exactly what's going on. But the battery life tests seem to be about the same as what we're getting in beta three. So guys, yes, this update was kind of lackluster here, nothing really new going on. So we might be expecting the GM version of iOS 13.1 coming pretty soon here. Hopefully that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks as we are getting the new iPhone uh, 11, 11 Max, and uh, 11 Pro Max and 11 Pro coming out. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing some new features added on to those phones as well. So guys, thank you for watching this update video. Uh, definitely give it a like if you liked it. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, leave those in the comment section down below. But make sure to get subscribed and also hit that bell button because that will be crucial. We have a lot of videos coming up. We have the new Apple Watch Series 5. Uh, we have case reviews for the iPhone 11 
and 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max as well. So we have a lot of videos coming up. You will not want to miss that. And also some tutorials on how you can go ahead and update to iOS 13 when that comes out tomorrow. So guys, thank you again for all of your support and watching this video. And hopefully we'll be catching you guys in some upcoming content. Peace.